Hi, um, um, this, welcome to this week's EFT tapping video, which is tapping for improving your eyesight. Now, this is the second in a series of a six week clinical trial that I'm taking part in. I'm not leading the clinical trial. That's being led by Dr. Peter Stapleton, um, PETA, and I will put a link to that in the uh, her research in the description box below if you want to find out more. So I'm just sharing my experiences with it. And if you want to sort of join in and tap along um, to help your own eyesight, then that's why I, I'm doing this here. Now, um, this is not meant to be a substitute for therapy or medical advice. So if you are experiencing issues, please go and seek a qualified professional. And um, I am a qualified EFT practitioner to help you, but if you there's any serious trauma or anything like that that comes up, then do go and seek help. The way that I use EFT is to support any sort of issues that require medical intervention or um, therapy or anything like that. This is to support you in your healing process. So in this week's um, EFT tapping video, this is around a fear of something that you saw in the past that might have affected your eyesight. Now you might think of an event um, immediately or you might not because it might have been when you were very small and you don't even remember it. And an event came to mind for me, but it didn't affect my eyesight until much later, but I know this is still an issue for me. So um, that's, why you know i think well it might be affecting my eyesight it might not but i know it can't do any harm to tap on it but there might be other things that i don't remember that i saw and if it was a very traumatic event like i said before do go and see a therapist don't try and do it on your own so um when we start we're going to think about um just you can just think about the idea that you might have seen something in your past that is affecting your eyesight today because you kind of like want to block it out you don't want to see it and just tuning into that and seeing how that feels right now is there tension in your body the strong emotions come up on a scale of one to ten where one is like it doesn't affect you at all and ten it's very intense now, if it is a 10, as I say, you probably need to go and see somebody. So um, wherever it is on that scale, it's it's subjective and it just gives you a starting point. So you can see at the end if there's been any shift. So um, with that number in mind, we start tapping on the side of the hand. Now, if you're new to tapping, do check out my introduction to tapping video the link is in the description below but all you have to do is follow along with me it doesn't matter which side that you tap on and you just use two or three fingers and just tap gently so even though i saw this thing in my past that made me afraid. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though that thing that scared me still affects my eyesight today, I still love and accept myself the way I am now.
even though it was too much for me to process at the time and it affects my eyesight now. I deeply love and accept myself. Eyebrow point. It was a scary thing. Side of the eye. I acknowledge that it was scary. Under the nose, even though it might not feel that scary now. At the time, I was overwhelmed by it. Collarbone. And it still affects my eyesight today. Under the arm because I don't want to see that thing. Top of the head. That thing that was so scary at the time. Eyebrow point, but I was only a child. Side of the eye, I didn't know how to process it. I was even scared to talk about it. And sometimes I might feel scared to talk about it now. Jane, because it feels a bit silly. Collarbone, but I appreciate myself for tapping on it today. Under the arm, and for healing and releasing any blocks. Top of the head, and clearing away anything that's stopping me from seeing clearly. Eyebrow point, I choose to release that fear now. Side of the eye, I'm letting it go. Under the eye, although it was scary at the time. Under the nose, I'm an adult now and I can handle it. In. I'm healing from whatever scared me in the past. Collarbone, I'm releasing it and its hold on me. Under the arm, with each tap, I release a little bit more of that fear. Top of the head, I accept who I am anyway. And stop tapping, take a deep breath. <sighs> Tuning in. And how does that feel now? Has the tension gone down a bit? And of course you can always come back and tap again. Now the study that I'm taking, we're tapping on this every day for a week. So you might want to do that. And I'll be back next week with week three. I don't know what that's going to be because I'm doing it as I go through the process as well. So this week we're tapping on what we saw that made us afraid that we might not want to see and is still affecting our eyesight today. So thank you for tapping along with me today.
will see you again very soon. And in the meantime, take care, go well, and lots of love.